If things don't change immediately, more people are going to continue dying at rapid rate. A spike in deaths for those living on the streets. A BC coroner's report says 247 people died who were experiencing homelessness in 2021. That's a 75% jump from the year before, and toxic drugs are to blame. The report released Wednesday covers a 10 year period between 2012 to 2021. The illicit drug crisis is touching on people from all walks of life in all corners of our province. Uh, the review found that about 75% of the people uh, experiencing homelessness who died over this 10 year period, um, that their deaths were classified as accidental. And within that cohort, uh, between 80 and 90% of them, uh, their deaths were determined to have been caused by the illicit drug supply. Union Gospel Mission says the numbers confirm what staff have been seeing at the shelter. People that they did know and the people they did care for stopped coming around. And unfortunately, it wasn't because they had become housed or because they were moving into a better part of their lives. It was because they had lost their lives. A statement from the government of B.C. says the data shows the devastating impacts of toxic drugs, saying in part, we are working on all fronts to turn the tide on this crisis, including expanding treatment services and harm reduction measures like drug checking and prescribed safer supply, including for people experiencing homelessness. Chief Coroner Lisa Lapointe says this is another reason to implement her office's urgent recommendations, including providing a safe supply of drugs. UGM says housing is a crucial step in providing stability. And then the individual can begin to consider working through trauma or they can, you know, work on their mental health or they can just continue to rebuild their lives. The report also notes people between 30 and 59 years old accounted for 72 percent of reported deaths and 83 percent were men. Behind every data point is a person and it's a person who's left behind uh, loved ones, people who cared about them. In Vancouver, Crystal Adaris, City News.